One problem commonly found on Caterpillar D2 and D4 tractors with starting engines is the pinion clutch brake wanting to bog out or stall the pony motor or difficulty engaging the pinion gear to the diesel engine without it grinding. Now if this is happening, it's not so much because your brake discs aren't working, it's more because of high internal drag in the pinion clutch itself. Now the reason for this drag is in its construction. The clutch is basically a stack of bronze and steel discs that come from the factory absolutely flat. Now because this assembly runs in oil, when oil film gets between those discs it makes them stick together. They don't want to slip, they don't want to pop apart, that's what creates all the drag in that clutch. Now one way around that drag is to modify the clutch pack just a little bit. What I do, I take a big socket and take the bronze discs. Now you want the socket to fit the OD of the disc really close. I take another smaller socket and I'll put it up on top. You want this one to match the ID real close. Once you got that set up, take a rubber mallet, just hit it a few times. Then you want to check the disc with a straight edge. What you're trying to do is put a little bit of a bevel on the disc. About like you see there, about 20 thousandths, maybe a little more. Do, do that to all the bronze discs. Leave the steel discs flat. Once you've beveled all the bronze discs, you reassemble the clutch pack with the beveled edges of the bronze discs all facing the same direction. What this does is put some springiness in the clutch pack, helps it disengage. Now I've just did this one. I beveled all the bronze discs, all the steel discs are still flat. Everything's good and clean. It's all adjusted, right? And you can see when I use the shift collar to put pressure on the clutch pack, it actually springs. There's some compressibility there. Now what that's doing, the bevel on those bronze discs is actually making them pull away from the steel. It breaks that oil film. You don't have any of the drag. The pony motor can slip the clutch at low RPM. You can engage the pinion gear without it grinding. It just works really nice. And the nice thing about this also, when you fully lock the collar over center, it will flex all the bronze discs back flat. So your clutch isn't going to slip. It's going to get good contact to the steel discs. You're going to spin the diesel engine just fine and there won't be any problems. When the collar is released again, clutch springs itself back apart. Again, it breaks that oil film. You don't have any drag and you're ready for the next startup. Not only does this procedure apply to the later series drive units with the curved handle found on U-series D2s and D4s, it also applies to the earlier D2 and D4 starting clutch units that have the straight handle. Once you get inside them, all the parts are the same.